Hello and welcome to the Vince Drummond Golf YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Golfers in the Gym. Golfers in the Gym is a series that is run by myself and Mike Asbell of Asbell Golf Performance. We'll be coming to you live from Woodland Country Club Academy in Carmel, Indiana. Today we're going to be talking about the 90-90 mobility test, which means one thing, shoulders. We're going to talk about why shoulder mobility is so important in your golf swing and why it's important to know when you don't have proper shoulder mobility. If your coach is trying to get you in a certain position at as a tour pro or as somebody else that you're looking at their swing, but your shoulder doesn't have the mobility to get you in that position, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to hit terrible golf shots and or you're going to wreck your body. So you really need to understand why that mobility is important. You also need to be able to work on that mobility and know if you don't have it. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. We're going to kick it over to Woodland Golf and Country Club. This is Vince Drummond Golf and this is Golfers in the Gym teaching you how to move. Let's go. Welcome back to the Vince Drummond Golf YouTube channel. I'm Vince Drummond. I'm here with Mike Asbell from Asbell Golf Performance. We're coming to you guys live from the Woodland Country Club Golf Academy. I uh, want to bring you guys episode five of Golfers in the Gym teaching you how to move. Uh, today we are talking about the 90-90 test. This is going to be really important for shoulder mobility, which is huge in the golf swing. Mike's going to talk to you guys about some of the implications if you don't have full range of motion in your shoulders, if you're not as mobile as you should be. Uh, so we're really excited to be able to bring you guys today's episode. The shoulders are a part of the body that is often overlooked in the swing, but is really important if you want to be able to make a full backswing and a full follow through. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the 90-90 test. This is episode five of Golfers in the Gym, teaching you how to move. So I'm going to have Mike go ahead and face me for this one. He's going to stand straight up as tall as he can, and then he's going to extend his left arm towards the camera. Now from here, I'm gonna bend his arm to 90 degrees for him. And what I want him to do is just rotate his shoulder as far back as he can while maintaining the same spine angle. So as you guys can see from the side, what we're looking for is to make sure that Mike's forearm is rotated more than his spine angle. Uh, and that's gonna be whether he passes or not. The next thing that we're gonna do is have Mike go into a golf posture. So he's gonna go into about five iron posture. Once again, he's gonna extend his arm out to the left as far as he can. I'm going to go ahead and bend this to 90 degrees for him. And now he's just going to rotate that shoulder as far as he can once again. Another thing that we're looking for here is to make sure that his forearm is equal to or greater than his spine angle. Uh, that's really important in golf posture because we want to make sure that you're able to get full range of motion in that shoulder so that you're able to fully set in the backswing and then be able to follow through as well. Mike's going to talk to you guys about some of the things that you may see as a result of not being able to have that full range of motion in your shoulder. Hey guys, Mike here. So we we're just talking about that 90-90 test with Vince. Uh, what I'm going to tell you guys about is a little bit of how that will actually affect you guys' golf swing and what to be looking for. So the biggest thing that we commonly see in the 90-90 test uh, with people that fail is, is obviously because of that lack of mobility in the shoulder, we'll see a few things. This is a flattening of the uh, plane in the backswing. So what that means is instead of being able to rotate around my spine, because I don't have this shoulder mobility, I'm actually, I will come out of my posture my f and flatten this golf swing. So what you'll see is my shoulders become very flat. If you drew a line across from my right shoulder to my left, very, very flat rather than staying on plane and in position here. At the other side of it, on the follow through, because if we struggle with a left side uh, mobility, uh, left shoulder mobility, because we cannot release the club in this manner, we end up what's known as the common chicken wing. Looking at it from this side, instead of the shoulder being able to rotate open, now we chicken wing it. Again, huge power leak kills the sequence, uh, and really will sh you'll really struggle with that. Uh, ball striking and consistency. So Vince is going to take you through a few drills that we can do to help strengthen the shoulders and increase that mobility. So we'll send it over to him now. Thanks. 
We're back here with Mike. He talked to you guys about how important it is to be able to have that full range of motion in your shoulders. Uh, it's one of those things that is ideal for the perfect golfer. Obviously, the perfect golfer doesn't exist, and so uh, there's a lot of people who don't have that full range of motion. Finding a great professional who's able to understand and work around that limitation is something that's just as important as being able to identify that you have it. Uh, there may be some people who aren't ever able to get that full range of motion, and so there may be certain positions in the golf swing that you're not able to get to. But we can always get better, we can always improve, and so we're going to go through uh, some corrections right now to help work on that 90-90 test and help work on that shoulder mobility. So I'm going to have Mike go ahead and do palm presses for me. So he's going to go right here with his palms pressed together. His elbows are going to be out wide. He's going to be pressing as hard as he can. We're going to hold this for about 30 seconds, and then we're going to start to do some different movements within that palm press. So now I'm going to have him rotate his wrist forwards and backwards, still pressing those palms together the entire time, really focusing on pushing, applying as much pressure as he possibly can. From there, we're going to go back to a static hold, and then we're going to go into small circles forward, keeping that pressure of the palms the whole entire time. Next, we're going to go into backward small circles, continuing to apply pressure, continuing to push. Then we're going to go into big circles forward. And then big circles backwards. Then in a static position, we're going to feel like we're swimming or feel like we're crawling. So our elbows are going to make tiny circles. We're going to crawl, crawl, crawl. Then we're going to stop and we're going to crawl backwards. We're going to focus on moving those elbows just like we're swimming or like we're crawling and we don't have our hands to be able to help us. This is an exercise that's really going to put a lot of pressure on your shoulders in a good way. It's going to increase that range of motion. If you guys hold those for 30 seconds a piece, you're going to feel the, the shoulders start to light up. That's what we want. We want those muscles to be active. We want to be able to work on improving those shoulders both in strength and in mobility. Uh, and so really excited that you guys were able to join us today. Hopefully you guys were able to use uh, all the stuff we talked about. Uh, understand why the 90-90 test is important, understand why that shoulder mobility is important for your golf swing and for your golf game. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Mike and Asbel Golf Performance for partnering with us on this series, for giving us access to Woodland Country Club and some of the awesome facilities that they have here. Uh, like I said, if you guys need lessons, if you want to get geared up for that spring season and you're in the Hamilton County or the Indianapolis area, Hit up Mike, let him know. Uh, he'll be able to help you guys out. His Instagram for Asbel Golf Performance will be down in the description box below. So once again, just want to give you guys a huge thank you for supporting, for following along. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're going to continue to have golfers in the gym videos coming out, as well as new episodes of Making the Turn, our golf performance podcast that comes out every week as well. So really excited that you guys are here. Uh, once again, for Vince Drummond Golf and Asbel Golf Performance, we're out of here. Thank you.